Good morning, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is worthy to be praised. We're going to set this atmosphere. This video is covered in the blood. You all are covered in the blood. I'm covered in the blood. Saints, happy day. Happy day. I'm glad that I'm able to be with you all another day. God is in a blessing business. I'm going to continue my series on um, Sheol and Hades and Hell and Eternal Fire, the Lake of Fire. Father God, may you bless this video. May your spirit be in around us, Father. Let your holy presence embrace us, O oh God. Cover us in the blood, Father. Block every unclean thing that want to hinder. We bind it loose from us, O oh God. What we loose in heaven, we loose in earth. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Father, for those who's coming to the channel. May you bless them and cover them in your blood. Oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you, Father. We love on you, oh God, this day. Give us wisdom, knowledge, and revelation. Peace be still in this place, in Jesus' name. Everyone, I'm, I'm bringing to you a series. I, this is, will be um, the fourth video that I've done on, on, on Sheol, or Hell, or Hades, or Lake of Fire, or Abyss, or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a place where people go that are wicked that are unrepentant uh, 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 for, for eternal punishment. Okay, so when we leave here, uh, when we pass off of this earth, um, the Lord uh, gives us choice. Um, when we're here living in this world, we, he says, choose whom to stay, whom you're going to serve. Okay, and um, uh, he, he gives us choice. But there's a place where your soul go when you're wicked. Okay, and the, the wicked souls, is, is, they have a mental disregard for justice, uh, for righteousness, for the truth, for, for honor, for virtue, for evil and thoughts, and in life. The depravity, sinfulness, criminality, you, you go to eternal fire. It's, it's say Joshua 24, 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord choose you this day whom you will serve. See, God say, choose whom who you're going to serve. Are you going to serve the wickedness of evil and the enemy? Are you going to serve him? Okay, we go to a great place in heaven where we serve the Lord because we have eternal life. But we have eternal damnation when we pick the uh, be evil and wicked. See, we, 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 we can't have a disregard, say, do not have a disregard for justice or righteousness, truth, honor, virtue, evil. See, what are our thoughts like? What is our heart like? All right? So he want our hearts, our thoughts, our souls, our minds to be Christ-like, like him. Okay? See, the wicked shall perish. Okay, just like a, 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 a mower, a lawnmower, mowing grass. It's, it, God mows it down. He mows it down, you all. And, and we need to start bringing back the truth of God. Okay? Not just a good, good, goody, goody candy coating. But we need to bring back, talk about God's wrath as well. Okay? So he punishes eternal punishment when you don't choose whom this day, when you don't choose him. Okay? And it says in 1 John 3, 4, 6, Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. You breaking God's covenants. Okay? Because we know that sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Matthew 25, 41, he tells us, Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, holy God, ye cursed. Everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. When the angels, when, when Lucifer sinned against God and turned on God, there was a place set aside for each everlasting fire, the devil and his angels. Okay, so God has a place for wickedness, defiling wicked and evil, not uh, repenting. Okay, so we looking at who is in it, who is in there, all right, who, who was in Hades, who was in Sheol. Un, the unforgiving, those who've turned away from God don't want to believe in Him, unbelievers, the unrighteous, the lawbreakers, 
the sexual immoral, the murderers, the fornicators, the liars, and the thieves. Okay? And many others. Just when you're going against the Lord and you don't want to believe on him and Father, Son, and one of me, it's the deity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, the triune God, you don't want to partake of him. You don't want to sup with him. You will not enter the kingdom of God. Revelations 20, 15. Eternal punishment. Name not written. Your name is not written in the book of life. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Okay. Now we know that fire burns. Fire is hot. Okay. Even if you get a little small burn or cut, it hurts like crazy when you have a little burn or cut, okay? So you don't want your soul burning in eternal hell fire, okay? But there is a place God sets a heaven and God has hell, all right? Like I said on the other video, many don't believe that there is hell, but there is, okay? You don't want to get to that place and then say, uh, uh, um, Oh, I wish I had listened. I wish I was listening to the people that was trying to tell us about this place. Because once you're there, you, you can't get back out. Once you're there, you're there for eternity. You cannot get back out. Okay? Matthew 20. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? I apologize, everyone. I have to. I, I'm going to have to get a stand for my phone. Because I don't really have a, a comfortable place for my phone. I apologize. But, but there is a place called hell. Sheol, Hades. He says, as whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Matthew 25, 41. Then he will say to those on his left, depart from me. As I said, I never knew you. Okay. So the unrepentant sinner will be in hell. He says, Matthew 22, 36 and 37. Love the Lord with all your heart, soul, and mind. We are to love our, the Lord with all our heart, soul, and mind. If we don't, that's the place you can go. Okay? So he wants us to accept him in, in our hearts to enter into his kingdom. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. If you haven't and plat, plotting, scheming, Witches, There's so many witches in hell, warlocks, There's so many in hell today, murderers, people that aren't repenting, people think that they have power, but it's false, it's negative power, okay, you want the power of God in you, okay, um, wickedness, witches, warlocks, deceit, deception, lying, cheating, stealing, murdering these things see the lord gave me a vision before where he was coming with his horses and chariots and he said was how he, he was speaking and prophesying and i could hear him say thou shall not murder everyone okay and there's so much wickedness of murdering on this land and so much killings out here in this world hey we have to be real we have, to, we have to be real. We have to know that God is a just God. We cannot partake of the wicked things that's going on out here with unrepentant hearts. Because what's done in the dark will come out in the light. I don't care who you are. Your dirty deeds will come to forth, to, 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 into being, to be seen. When you're not repenting or turning from the dark things. So he says you must choose whom to stay whom you will serve. You choose light. You choose life. You choose him. He says to 1 Corinthians 6, flee sexual immorality. Okay, wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom. So if you're doing things against your body, he says our bodies are temple. If you're doing sexual immoral things that God says we are not to do. He said, like Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay? He didn't say celebrate abominable things. He says to flee from them. When you flee, you're running away from a place or situation or from danger. Mark 11, 26. 
But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. So if we don't forgive others, the Father in heaven will not forgive us. Okay? And there's so many people in hell and Hades because they have unforgiving hearts. They can't forgive what somebody did to them. Okay? We have to pray for our enemies to go into repentance. Okay? To be delivered. Isaiah 3, 11. Woe to the wicked. God says, woe to the wicked. It will go badly with him. For what he deserves will be done to him. See, God will give you your just due. If you're being wicked, then you get the eternal things that go with wicked. Micah 2, 1. Woe to those who scheme iniquity. Who work out evil on their bed. See, people, some people get up planning and scheming of what they're going to do to somebody. When morning comes, that, uh, um, they do it. For it is in the power of their hands. Proverbs 4, 4. Do not enter the path of the wicked and do not proceed in the way of evil men. See, God says bad company what? Corrupts your morals. I always teach that. To, my, to people that I know, my family members, my loved ones. Stop hanging with bad company. All right? Because people want to pull you down to the pit with them. 1 John 3, 4, 6. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the trans transgression of the law. You breaking God's covenants, as I said. All right? You want to serve the Lord. You want to serve the Lord, everybody. You want to serve the Lord. I want you all to go with me in 2 Peter right now. We're going to 2 Peter 2, chapter 2. God talks about following false prophets. See, these also are people that are in Hades. People that are following the wrong things. And, and they're walking with Antichrist type spirits. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that besought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of, their destruction. And through covetousness shall they with fain words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. See, destruction. People that's destructive come away from. All right? Don't follow um, gangs of violence and destruction. Come out. It's people in hell that's following this. For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved into judgment and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. What did he do with Sodom and Gomorrah? They perished. A whole place, whole people perished because of evil and sin. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an ensample unto those that after should live ungodly. See, it's ungodly living. When you're doing dirty deeds against God. Okay, he says, depart from me, I never knew you. You don't want to hear those words from God. There's a, white, a great white throne judgment. And God looks at what you've done here. You wasn't following him here. You get judged. Okay. He says the just shall live by faith. Everyone. See, we must be obedient. If you're getting up and you're planning and scheming and plotting wicked things, evil, um, somebody's hurt, poisonings. These things are vulnerable to God. All right. If you've been with anyone other um, 
intimately than you're supposed to be. God made man and woman, male and female. All right? Even with animals, they are male and female animals to procreate. So these things are abominable to the Lord. The world is for things that are abominable. But God is for things, he says, choose life. All right? Don't choose sin. Don't choose death. We, we were born into a sinful world. But he knows that he says we have choice, everyone. Okay? And he's a just God. He's a gracious God. He, he gives us so many chances to come to him to repent. Okay? He says, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. So, so we worship him. We, we praise him. He says to be in one mind. All right. At first Peter three, nine, not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing, but contra, uh, contrary wise blessings, knowing that ye are there unto call that you should inherit a blessing. See, God want us to inherit his blessings. Okay. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. 10. For he that will love life and see good days. Hallelujah. Let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that speak no guile. So if you want to see good days, he wants you, ex you, you exalt the Lord in how you speak. You exalt the Lord. And if you're saying something bad, you, you repent. You ask the Lord to forgive you. To help you not do that again. Let him eschew evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensue it. See, turn away from that. Turn away from wickedness. Turn away from ugly things. Okay, we could be driving down the street. And we fussing and arguing at somebody. And then we had to repent. Oh, Lord, Lord, forgive me. I shouldn't have did that. Okay, road rage. Okay, we have to turn from things. Uh, Lord, help me forgive this person that's wronging me. All right? We have to pray. It's power in prayer. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. See, when, 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 you, when you, uh, uh, um, your eyes is on the Lord, there's righteousness. See, he was imputed for righteousness. When John the Baptist was baptizing, it was for righteousness, okay? But when the Holy Holy God, the Father sent His Son to, 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 on, that car, uh, on that cross to bury our iniquity and our sin debts, He cleansed us and made us whole. We were renewed, okay? When a when God said, before Abraham was, I was, okay? So, um, they had to, the, the, in the Old Testament, they had to give up the animals for sacrifice, Okay, but when Christ died on that cross, he became the, uh, the remission of our sins, a propitiation for our sins. Okay, he was the ram sticking for us. Okay, and who is he that will harm you if ye be followers of that which is good? Now, I've had so many uh, uh, people come against me. I've had jobs stopped and things like that. Uh, ex-co-workers were praying against me. I've had family members praying against me. I had uh, uh, um, people you, you would never believe that would pray against you. But I had to ask God. The Lord spoke to me and said, you either forgive them, pray for them. Okay? So I say, Lord, I'll forgive them. All right? Because you have to bless your enemies. Okay? Because it's not up to us. That person that's doing evil and bad, God can make that person be on fire for him. Okay, but and if ye suffer for righteousness sake, happy are ye. See, when we suffer for the righteousness of God, we receive that eternal joy. All right. Long as you seek in him, keep seeking him. Don't never doubt him. Remember doubting Thomas, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that ask of you a reason or a hope. That is in you with meekness and fear. See, we ought to reverence him. Having a good conscience that whereas they speak evil of you, as of evil doors, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. Okay? 
So we must have the conscience of God to not want to do the evil things. So any bad thoughts come in your heart, your mind, you say, Lord, forgive me. Remove it from me in the name of Jesus. Search my heart, Lord. Remove any anger, any bitterness, any distress, any hatred, um, bigotry. People that are bigots, bigotry um, 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 in these organizations, okay, um, they're in places like Sheol. They can't come out of it. <laughs> I never could understand why it's so much hatred over, over color, over race, because we all were created by God, okay? And God hates the sin that's in man, but he loves the sinner. And he, we are covered through the grace of God. And some people think they are saved, but they can be just as hateful and evil and racist as they can be. You can't go to the kingdom of God like that, people. You cannot. Bigotry is, is evil. You always, you, you cannot look at a person's color and hate them. You know, me being an African-American woman who is, my DNA say I'm half Nigerian. Most of my DNA is half Nigerian. People can look at you and just hate you and don't even know you. And it's so crazy. You don't want that kind of hatred in your heart. See, what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. He cleanses us sinners. We all come short of God's glory. See, see that he who with, is without sin cast the first stone. No one have no business being prejudiced towards nobody. God created us. We are the creation of him. He put us all in this world. He confused the languages in Babel, the Tower of Babel and Shinar, so that they could not understand because they was doing things against them, trying to build a tower up to heaven. See, we don't belong to ourselves. It's, it is not our right to sit there and look down on someone because of what they look like. Or who they are. We have to ask God to remove the sin from us. To deliver us from evil and keep us from temptation. None but the right, righteous forsaken nor begging bread. And it's, it's, it's a lot of times, like in healthcare, on these jobs, when I was working in healthcare, you barely saw people of color in too much management. And the ones that weren't of color, say Caucasians, Sometimes they didn't want you to even have a voice. They wanted you to be shut up. They want to shut you up. Like you don't have a voice. See, no one is subservient. Mm. For Christ I live and for Christ I die. The Holy Spirit is within me right now, you all. It's amazing how man think they have some kind of right to be, to keep you opposed, to, to keep you oppressed. There's so much oppression going on out here. And God speaks of that in Amos. We're not supposed to be oppressing others. We're supposed to be encouraging, exalting, edifying. The church should be edifying one another. We should be lifting you up. He say, on Christ the solid rock, I stand on other ground of sinking sand. You build your house on a rock so that it won't sink. See, your foundation, your heart, God gives the final judgment. You don't want to go to Sheol, hell, like a fire for the bumble things. He says, come out.
among them. See, he calls us out. Many are called, but few are chosen. Greater is he in me than he who is in the world. All right? Listen to this. 1 Peter 3, 22. For is God into heaven and is on the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. See, we are all subject to God. The angels, we are. We are all subject to God. Everything is worshiping God in heaven. For as much then as Christ have suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. With the, with, what are we talking about here? Christ-like. Let your mind be with Christ. Let your mind not be on the world. Let your mind be with things eternal. All right? Because God is spirit. Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Arm yourselves likewise with the same mind, for he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. Father God, then he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of God. See, we have to live our life to the will of God. Let thy will be done, thy kingdom come. It's not our will. It's in God's timing. See, these days, we must trust him, believe him, know that he's God. If he said it, he mean it, it will come to pass. But it's in his time. It's not in our time, people. It's not. It's in God's timing. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles, which we walk in lasciviousness, lust, excessive wine revealings, Banquetings and abominable idolatries. You, you, you licentiousness, drinking parties, you, the revilings, the abominable things. God say to walk with him being Christ-like. Okay? Walk with others with the mind of Christ. Alright? See, God is a healer. He's a healer. He brings us from darkness. Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? For this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. Our flesh be crucified with the Lord, but the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch until prayer. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. See, when, when we give and like when I hand things to someone that's homeless, you give with a, a, a begrudgingly heart. All right. Don't question it. You be a cheerful giver. God loves a cheerful giver. Okay. As every man have received the gift. Even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as an ability with God giveth. That God in all things may be glorified through Christ Jesus. Through Jesus Christ. To whom be praise and dominion forever and ever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happen unto you it's the fiery trials that we enter into these are just trials in this world but god gives us a way out to go through it to go through the storm that's like shadrach meshach and nabendigo the fire did not burn them oh father god i thank you god i thank you god so so much you know I, god is just merciful God, he saves us, you all. He saves your soul. He make you whole again. He refreshes you. All right? He vitalizes you. He fills you up with his presence, with his spirit. Oh, Father, we thank you. We glorify you. We magnify you this day. I am so happy and thankful that who he is, my best friend, he is our Shaddai. He is our provider, our way maker, miracle worker, and promise keeper. He delivers us from evil and keeps us from temptation. 
Let me pray for someone right now. I need to pray. I need to pray, pray, pray. We need to pray for each other that no one enter into um, the fiery furnace, the gates of hell. He say, on this rock, I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it, everyone. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I thank you, Father, for this awesome video. I thank you that someone will be convicted, Father, that someone will be saved from hellfire, from the lake of fire, in the name of Jesus. Father God, let not their souls go to Sheol or hell or lake of fire with burning sulfur through eternity. But let them have the everlasting light. Let your light so shine among them by day and by night. Oh, Father, oh, taste and see that the Lord God is good. Oh, Father, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We praise your name. Holy God, we seek your face continually. Praise God from all whom blessings flow. Praise him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. We praise you, Lord. Oh, Lord. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son. And the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Father, Son, and one of you. I pray that someone is getting something out this video. Ask for wisdom, knowledge, and revelation. Be blessed. Um, I'm going to do another video to encourage those who are um, feeling heavy laden, that's caring, children, and those who already have children that's feeling heavy laden. I'm going to come back with another video, okay? Be blessed, you all. Bye-bye.